two. Episode two of Stinky's Bootcamp. Long awaited. No doubt. It's been almost a year. So today, in the cone zone, it's a very special, very special event. We're gonna be working out our core, folks. Stinky's Bootcamp, it's all about core, which is from you know, here to here. Core of your body. So get warmed up. As a, oh. How, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? I just need to make sure this is... Welcome to my living room, by the way. Levels are good. Okay, great. Super. Yeah, we're going to be working on our prismatic core today. All right, buddy. <laughs> So, folks, first of all, before we before we dive in, got a couple disclaimers, of course. So, if you if you don't exercise regularly, don't push yourself too hard. The last thing we want is for anybody to get injured, strain something. That's a big no-no. So, if you feel, feel pain, stop immediately. Uh, if you feel a burn, that's probably a good thing. If it's in or because that's what. Don't push yourselves too hard. Oh, have the water uh, ready at all times. If you got a mat, something like this, like a yoga mat or anything, or if you don't have a mat, got like a, a rug or you know something like that, something where we're on our back, got uh, got killing your back, um, or or that kind of thing. So if you got something like that, good. If you don't. Don't push yourself too hard. Don't want to hurt your your bum or your elbows because we're gonna be doing some stuff on our hands. Well, okay, so we're just gonna just gonna loosen up here, folks. You always gotta you always gotta warm up. The skinny's boot. Okay, is that right, buddy? Okay, so to warm up, folks. We're gonna we're gonna do something that. Definitely gets the blood flowing, folks. It's called burpees. I'm sure a lot of you already know what a burpee is. So we're gonna, what we do is we jump up and then we go down into a plank like that, right? Jump up, down. Jump up from the side, down. And we're kicking our legs out, right? And back up. If you want to feel like a badass, and if you you or if you already are a fit nerd, you can uh, throw in a push up. We're going bam, like that. Let's do a few of those. Five or ten. How you guys doing? Feeling good? Feeling that blood flowing? Good. Good, good. Yes. Okay, good, folks. Have the blood flowing now. Gonna, we're working on our core, we're working on our abs, working on our upper leg muscles as well. So, we're gonna stretch it out a little bit. We're gonna do one of these, we're gonna go up, bend our back, bend back just a slight amount, and then we're gonna go down all the way. Can't touch your, can't touch your toes. That's fine, you can touch your knees. Try to focus on a flat back. Or you can go all the way down for that But and you're in your back. Slowly we go up and back again. 
It's worth to note that tummy and that butt, very good. All right, folks, that's just the warm up. We're just getting, we're getting started here. So, like I said, focusing on the core today in Stinky's Boot Camp. So, what we're gonna do for our first core exercise, we're gonna, we're gonna go down on our mat, or if you got a rug or whatever, because the, the, whole, the whole premise of this is that there's gonna be no equipment involved so that everybody can do it. There's no excuse for, for any of you nerds out there. Be a fit nerd too. You don't even need a gym membership. You don't even need a set of weights. This is, that's what Stinky's Boot Camp is about. So right now, these are called bicycles. So we're gonna keep our hands in the air. We're gonna balance on our butt, like so. And we're gonna go like this, like we're riding a bike. Can you dig it? We're gonna do 25. 25 rotations. And then, get to 25. We're going backwards. Doing another 25. And now focus, focus on your back straight. Don't go like that. Don't collapse down. It's kind of a balancing act, right? Bit of a balance there. Keeping our hands up. If, if it's too hard, you can like touch the ground once in a while to, to keep your balance. We're just trying to the biking in the air. Very good. Very good. It looks a bit silly, but I mean, we all look a bit silly doing this. It's not silly if everybody's doing it. That's all right. Now up next, we're doing. I don't know what you call him, Frogman. We're gonna call it Frogman. No, we're gonna call it the Amazing Frog. Is what we do. We're on our butts again. And so again, we're kind of balancing. Find find that balance on your butt. We're kind of we're trying to engage the core, right? Go down and then up like a frog. And we're getting our, our legs are going out and our hands are going out. We're going back. And what we're doing is we're not going all the way down. We're not going down like that. We're going kind of up. Just a little bit off the ground, a few inches. So our shoulder blades aren't touching and our feet aren't touching the ground. We're just kind of hovering, crawling out, and then coming in like a frog. Bam. 25 of those, but if you can't do that, if this is hard, aim for five or 10. The hardest part is showing up. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Adjust to what you can do. So we don't want you to hurt yourself. And don't be discouraged either if you can't, can't do full 25 or anything. It's all about pushing yourself to do a little bit better each time. If you start off doing five, then next time aim for six. Maybe aim for seven the next time, etc. Remember, our shoulder blades and our feet are not touching the ground. I'm not even counting. Probably around 25. And we're keeping our feet together like that. And our knees together. We're not like spraying out like that. Alright, that's probably good. Something like 25 there. You guys alive out there? You doing okay? Good, a lot of you guys got 10, 15, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're good, we're good. Good job, folks. All right, up next, we're doing, let me consult my notes here. So we're gonna do some classic, classic sit-ups. And there's gonna be a slight variation here, slight difference from the, the true classic ones. And there's gonna be a couple different modes. So we're gonna be down, you can have your legs straight. Legs straight is, is a bit of like, Kind of the easier mode. 
uh, you can have your legs straight out and touch the ground. And then this is our starting position. Hands behind uh, our head, hands behind our cones. Then we go up like this, like so. We're gonna touch. That's the advanced, that's the advanced motion. If you can touch on the outside, that's that's the advanced motion. Then we go back down. Bam. Then up again. And we touch the advanced mode. If, if you if you don't want to touch, because that twisting motion sure adds a lot into the core. If you don't want to do that, just go go up to this position right here. Go 90 degrees and go back down. Now, if you're really having trouble with this, um, you can try and, and, and like the legs out is still too hard. You can try to find like uh, anything to put your feet under, like this entertainment system thing. You can put your feet under there so that you can push against it a little bit when you're coming up. Sort of makes it a bit easier. But yeah, try doing the flat mode. If you really want to, if you're a real fit nerd, super hard mode, you can cross your legs and then touch. We're going to do 25 or as many as you can. If you can only do a few, that's cool. Stretch it out, hydrate even join back in for a couple if you're feeling it. Remember we're alternating sides. Once again, I'm not even really counting. Or I should start counting. Good enough, good enough. All right, so those are those are variation of regular old sit-ups. Feel that in your in your tum tum? Mm mm. Do you feel that in your tum tum? <laughs> All right, so what do we got up next? Pulse ups. It's a bit of an advanced move. If you can do a couple, you're, you're killing it. So, so from the side, here we go. So our hands are out. Then we go down. This is the starting position. Up like this, 90 degrees. We go down, and then before our shoulder blades touch the ground, we stop, like this, we bring our feet up, so that our feet and our shoulder blades are off the ground, then we pulse it up and down, so, and then this is, this is our resting position, so we go up, sorry, I, I messed up the, fir the first part, the starting position is down here, that's what I meant to say folks, down here we're starting, so we go up to this position, try to touch your toes if you can, and down, and then pulse it up, right? So if you can only do a couple of these, you can't do any, don't even worry about it. You just do some sit-ups. Hands are up. This is the first part, it comes in two parts. Touch, and then we go back down, and before, pulse it up. that spring up right on a few more of those normally I would do 25 each motion counts as one so we're going one two like that Okay. 
If these are really hard, it, don't worry about it. It takes a bit of practice because it, it combines that that balance kind of thing that we were doing earlier, like that. And then, of course, the actual like pulsing up. Another alternative, if that's too hard for you, you can just go like this. Just focus on the balance. That's a good. That's a good way to build up for that exercise. It's called like a a boat, I believe. It's just our butt. We're bouncing on our butt, and our legs are up. So if the pulse ups are too much, focus on this. Keep, try to keep your back straight. Good. Don't worry about that. If you can't do the pulse ups, we're tough. It's a weird. It's a weird motion. Feeling that. Getting, getting a sweat formation going. It always looks like a demon when it first starts for me. My little chest demon. Okay, next up, we're gonna we're gonna switch gears slightly because we're not gonna be on our back anymore and focusing exactly on our abs. We're gonna be focusing on a different part of our core, on our legs, because our upper legs, it's all connected because. The legs in the back, or the muscles in the back of your leg, they they work all the way up into your back. It's all connected, right? So, core strength is in part leg strength. So what we're gonna do for this one? Uh, where did we go? We're gonna do. We're gonna start with a, a static pose where we're just we're not moving at all. Quite the opposite of those pulse ups. It's called chair pose. And it goes like this. So we're gonna keep our feet and knees together, like so. We're gonna raise our hands up. I'll give you the side view. So our feet and knees together. And then we're, it's like we're sitting down. Can you dig it? Our hands are up, feet and knees are together. And we're gonna try and keep our weight in the back of our feet, not, not in the front like that. The back in our heels. Even Gooby's doing it. And we're gonna feel that here and in our butt. We're gonna feel it in our quads. That's what these are, the quadriceps and your butt. And just hold it for as long as you can. And breathe, don't forget to breathe, folks. Drop it a little bit lower right before we finish. And up. Woo! Good, you're gonna feel that right here. Okay. Doing, you're doing all right out there? Still alive? I haven't, I haven't killed anybody yet. Good. Yeah, watch those knees. If you got bad knees, don't push it too hard. You. You don't need to go. You don't need to go super deep if you got bad knees. And just do like smaller, smaller angle instead of going like fully like ninety degrees. Next up, we're doing. We're gonna do lunges. We're gonna. We're gonna show you how to do proper lunges. Technique so you don't hurt yourself. Now, if you. Uh, if you're an advanced nerd, you can do this with weight. Got some weights. But right now we're just gonna focus on technique. So watch it here. You watching Gooby? Okay. So got the side view here. We're gonna step out with one leg. We're gonna go down. So that everything is 90 degrees. Dig it? And shoot back up. Once again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold it right here to show you. This is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. We're not going out like over, that's bad. That's bad for your knees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate side to side, doing, doing that lunge where we go out, get to 90 degrees, both legs, and then shoot back up. So, like so. We're gonna do 12 on each side. If you're an advanced nerd, you can do it with weights your hands. 
Going down like this. That's what I do at the gym. Bit of an advanced nerd myself. But don't have don't have weights. Just like so. Use your hands however you like to balance yourself. Try not to smash your back knee against the ground too. That's no bueno. Hover it right above the ground. We're aiming, what did I say? 25, so that's about 12 on each side. Or as many as you can do. Feel that again in your quadriceps, probably in your butt. Don't forget that, that push off. Your front foot, push it away. For a good part of the, the uh, exercise comes from pushing away. Will not even count. Let's say, let's say that's 25. Cool. Good job, everybody. It's not so bad, right? Good job, folks. Good job. All right. The lunges. Lunges are a very classic move. Very classic. Next up, we're going to do another classic leg core exercise. Squats. Oh, I'm sure you know. Everybody knows squats. But you know how to do them properly. We're going to show you. So, squats. We're gonna keep our feet about like about shoulder width apart, kind of right, kind of under our knees. We're not gonna run out super far like this. They're not together like that. From about a medium distance, like this. The toes pointing forward. We're not going inward, we're not going outward. Toes are forward. And basic squat. It's kind of like the chair pose that we just did, where we're focusing on putting our weight in the back of our feet, in our heels. And our knees are tracking out above our feet, going like this, sinking down. I'll give you the side view. Going down, keeping our weight in the back of our heels. And just down. Yeah. Do it. There are a bunch of different ways. There's so many different ways you can do squats. You can you can do just regular old squat like that, going down, and then you go back up. Or if you feel like that's a little bit too easy, or you want, you want to feel that burn and make those gains, go down, you can hold it, like we're doing with the, with the chair pose, and up. You can do it with weights, like I was saying with the lunges, just like like those, you can do it with weights. Keeping your, focus on keeping your back straight, because you don't want to be going over like this, that's bad. Bad, bad. Don't do that. Keep your back straight. Bam. Right? Another way you can do it without equipment to make it even more challenging. Jump squats. <laughs> Here we go down. Then we shoot up. Right? All right. I'm going to try to do 10 or 15 of these. If you're just doing regular squats, do as many as you can. Aim for 25. Bam. Remember, focus on breathing, keeping that back straight. It's ten.
Nailed it. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Stay hydrated. Reach for that water nipple you got close by. Oh, yeah. Watch, watch your head on the ceiling. That's not a problem that I normally have. Man of my stature. <laughs> oh yeah. Suppose that might be a bit loud. <laughs> Okay, all right. So we did we did some leg stuff for part of our core workout. We're gonna go back to the uh, hitting those abs. So now we're gonna go back on our back on our butts, back on our backs, and now these are these are gonna be we're gonna call them. Uh, leg ups or one leg ups because what we're going to do is we're on our back like so and one foot be straight up the other foot is going to be right off the ground so we're going to aim to never let any foot any leg touch the ground at any time we're just alternating three or four seconds at a time can you dig it so let's start like this. Start on our back, legs down. Now let's lift one leg up slightly off the ground. The other leg straight up. Two, three, and switch. Switching like that, folks. Well, there's two. You can keep your hands on the ground. 50 to 25. Billy, what you doing, buddy? Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> oh, my God. But thank you for helping me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Looks like in the inside of my mouth there. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. The encouragement. This is, this is kind of the advanced move, too. You can, be, you can be petting your dog's belly while you're doing this move. We're just counting to three on each side before we switch. <laughs> Ready? God, fucking love you, bud. Fucking love you. I lost count again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is definitely making it a little bit more challenging. All right, we're going to call it 25. Now, look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Good, too. Sorry, buddy. Got an audience. <laughs> okay. Okay. Up next. What were we? One leg ups. Okay. We're getting close to the end, folks. Got a few more exercises left. Up next, we're doing. Locomotives, that's what I'm calling them, locomotives. Because we're like a train. We're gonna be, we're gonna be like a train. So, go like this, taking these together again. Dig it. We're gonna clench our hands together. So, and then we're gonna lift our legs up. So again, we're balancing. Go side to side, touching the clenched hands. That's one, two, three, 
Can you dig it? Keep knees together, balancing. Here we go. One, two. Ten. And we're going to aim for 40. You only do 20, that's cool. 30, good one, two. That's 40. Now, if you got anything left in the tank, you're gonna do 20, super fast. Feel that one. Good shit, everybody. Okay. We got one more. Sorry, we got two more, folks. We're gonna finish up strong. Are these, this is gonna be another one that's kind of a strange motion. It might be hard to pick up right, right away. But just do your best. We'll give you, you uh, some pointers and some uh, alternatives to make them a bit easier. So we're going to be on our side now, folks. We're working on our obliques with that last exercise and this exercise. Obliques are your abdominals on the side. Can you dig it? All right. Working on those. So to do that, we've got to get on our side a little bit. So, we're gonna have, we're laying down on our side, just like this, like, like you're, like you're being painted like a French girl. Then, this hand, going on the ground. This hand, behind your cone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our legs at like, maybe a 30 degree angle. So if it's not, we're not totally straight. But kind of at an angle, like that. This hand's down, this hand's behind our cone. And then we're trying to do sit-ups sideways. Just like that. We're gonna be lifting up our legs and without, without moving this hand away from our cone, we're gonna to try to touch them. So if you can do one, that's cool. Try to do two next time. Or just take do one, and then take a break. Then do another one. I'm gonna do 25, like this. That dog hair in my mouth. Yummy. Ready? Here we go. But of course, we've got two sides. So we're going to flip over and do the same thing. So our legs are not totally straight. So from the side, it's going to look like this. Like so, you know what I mean? That's the angle. This arm is down on the ground. This hand is behind our cone. Up we go, try to do 25 if you can. Or just do one. That's 25. Good job, folks. 
Oh. Yeah, we're killing it, guys. Got to look. The demon formation has turned into more, more so like the state of Texas, kind of. This angle, anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so some of these, some of these, I know are little like the motions are. You're probably like, what the fuck? That's okay. If you can, if you can do one of them. That's cool. Because a lot of these motions, a lot of these exercises will take. They require sort of a baseline of of strength from other parts of your core that maybe you haven't developed yet. So do the exercises that you can and just do little tiny bits of the ones that are weird for you. And eventually you'll, you'll work your way up. That's my, that's my recommendation. So we've got one more exercise left. We're gonna finish strong, folks. I know you guys have heard of this before. Planks. One sec, I can grab my timer. Planks. Okay, so we're gonna do two minutes of planks. Well, I'm gonna do two minutes of planks. You can do your best. So what we do is our, our arms are together or rather, they're not together, they're parallel. We're going to be on our forearms, like so. Dig it. Then our legs are back. And we're, we're in a plank position, like a board, straight across. Try not to sag. And here are some, here are some things to make them a bit easier. Uh, one is you can, instead of keeping your arms parallel, uh, put them together. Like, like this formation. That makes it a little bit easier. Uh, you can also put your butt up in the air a bit so that you're not quite totally straight. Go to like this. But you'll you hold it long enough like that, you'll still feel the burn. But what we're going to be working towards, folks, or if you're already an advanced nerd, arms parallel uh, on our forearms, straight across from your uh, feet your head. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start timing now. And if you're a super advanced nerd, you can lift one leg up. Started. Dig it. And then, if you're a super advanced nerd, you're going to switch that leg. you got to take a break. If you can only do 10 seconds at a time, that's cool. Go flop down on your belly, take a breather, switch, and then come back when you're ready. Then next time you do this, just try to go for a couple seconds longer, and that's progress. You're going to feel this through your entire body. <laughs> Planks are good for that. Switch. Think happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Switch. Try to keep those arms parallel if you can. Try to keep that body straight. We're getting close, folks. Switch one more time. Ten seconds. Remember 
to breathe. And down. Good job. Yay! We did it. Good job, everybody. A golf clap. Golf clap to you. Good shit. But we're not done totally yet because we got to stretch it out. Okay, so. So this core workout, guys. The core is extremely important because it's what holds everything together. You, you can be you work on your extremities and you're going to work on your glamour muscles, but you need to work on your core to prevent injuries, to put just overall strength. The core is the mother of it all, right? So it's really important to do exercises like these. Now this, this is just, this is a routine that, that I kind of put together for you guys. What you can do with it, the takeaway from this, is use the exercises that you liked and uh, incorporate them into your um, your kind of fitness routine, whatever it is. Or you can just do this exactly how it is. It's good to do a core exercise, core routine, uh, in like conjunction with another workout. Because, I mean, really, you could, without me talking and without some of, the extraneous exercises, you can do this routine like 20 minutes. So if you're doing, if you're at the gym and you're doing like upper body day or whatever, you can also throw this in at the end. That's that's what I would do at the gym. But uh, you know, baby steps. This was a, this was a, a team challenge for you guys. Uh, look at it bit by bit, uh, incremental improvements. That's what it's all about. So, we're going to stretch it out, folks. Crossing our arms. We're going to do what we did at the start. We're going to reach up. Deep breath. Back a little bit. Exhale and go forward. Touch your toes if you like. Touch the ground if you can't. Touch your ankles or touch your knees. Hang out. Let your hands dangle. Hanging out. Relaxing those muscles in our back and in our butt. And slowly stretching it back up. We're going to clasp our hands together. Then from behind our, behind our back, clasping, and then Leaning back, so feeling that small of our back coming. We're gonna go, we're gonna look real silly with this next one. I fully ex uh, expect gifs and or memes to come out of this one for sure. We're on our knees. I, I folded my mat because I, I got weird pointy knees. They hurt when I do this. You can protect your knees by doing that. Go like this. And we're just gonna we're gonna breathe in. And when we when we breathe in, we're expanding our chest and arching our back, looking up this way. Looks real dumb, doesn't it? But it feels good. And then we exhale to neutral spine again. And then inhale, and we go the other way. Okay, like a cat's back. Do that a couple more times. Looks dumb, feels awesome.
Nice. Now, if any of you guys out there have experience with doing any yoga, you'll know this next one. He's going to be doing downward dog and upward dog. Ruby's favorite. So, like this, we're on our belly. Upward dog. We're on the we're on the top of our feet. See like that. We lift our knees up. Hands are under our shoulders. Stretched up, feeling that in our tummy and in our lower back. And then we go down. Downward dog. Try to, try to keep a, an angle at your, at your hips. Your back is straight from your hands to your hands to your hips. Back to this one. Oh man, this feels so good. Now I've got I've had back problems. I've had recurring I have a recurring back problem. And that's for anybody out there who has any back pain or anything. I cannot recommend doing this enough. Because your core is what supports your back. All these muscles in here on your back. What supports your back and your posture. So if you have you have posture or that kind of stuff, self-correcting as long as you're doing it with proper technique. Not uh, right at it. But guys, that's that's Stinky's Boot Camp episode two. Look at my cool sweat patterns, guys. Used to be cool demon formation, but now it's just a bit more abstract. All right. Um, you know what, folks? I obviously do not have my uh box set up so I can't do those regular shout outs um, as I normally would but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shout you out anyway I'm gonna see what's what we got here we feeling all right out there folks I hope nobody uh, Nobody uh, kicked their butts too hard. Oh, it's going to be easy today. Dumb on, thank you. Cool beans, folks. We did it. All right, so. So next, next week, I guess that's technically this week, Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming schedule. I'm gonna be doing some uh, scary ass shit. I'm gonna finally match the need. So that I'm well, I'm not really looking forward. To In fact, I think the correct word is I'm dreading that. Uh, yeah. But tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna release the streaming schedule. I'm going to take tomorrow off, so I'll probably see you guys on Tuesday. So thank you guys so much for, for joining. Yeah. All right, guys. See you on Tuesday. Thanks again. Yeah. You guys stay rad. Be excellent to yourselves. Next one to each other. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys. Bye.